Hey guys, and welcome back where we have a breaking news. Now, police have taken a suspect into custody in the shooting death of Jacqueline Avant, the wife of legendary music executive Clarence Avant. Now, family sources have confirmed that a man has been arrested in connection to the death of the 81-year-old who was shot dead early Wednesday morning in her $7 million Beverly Hills mansion, despite a security guard being on the property. Now, police have not yet named the suspect or commented on a possible motivation for the fatal shooting, but on Wednesday, Beverly Hills Police Chief Mark Stainbrook said the horrific slaying was likely not random. I don't think it's a random attack, he said, but I can't speculate on that right now. Obviously, someone went into the home. We just don't know what the purpose was. A lot of times people think home invasions when it comes to robbing or burglarizing a residence. I think there are a lot of nuisance to the term home invasion. Now, police said Clarence and a security guard were home at the time of the attack, but not harmed. Now, neighbors of the Avant were so worried about the recent rise in burglaries in the neighborhood that they hired armed guards a week before the music executive wife was killed. Now, residents of the Truesdale State in Beverly Hills told TMZ that just last week, several neighbors got together and hired a private security firm in response to a recent spike in home and car burglaries in the area. Now, the neighbors were so afraid, they say they pooled money and hired a security company, but they had not started patrols yet before Wednesday tragic shooting. Now, on Wednesday, Clarence Avant's wife of 54 years, Jacqueline Avant, died of a gunshot wound in what appears to have been a home invasion, although police have still declined to say how many suspects were involved. If anyone witnessed the attack or whether this incident is connected to a recent string of burglaries targeting the wealthy in the uh, Los Angeles area. Now, Jacqueline was transported to a local hospital, but died later that morning. She was 81 years old. Now, law enforcement sources told the LA Times that at least one burglar made it into the $7 million mansion before Jacqueline was killed, although it it's unclear if that person was apprehended and no description for a possible suspect has been issued. Uh, well, they have apprehended someone, so I'm glad a suspect uh, has been apprehended. I hope that um, he's punished to the full degree. And my thoughts and prayers go out to the Avant family. And I'll be praying for this family, and hopefully you will be too. Mm, so tragic. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And it's always important. Be blessed, y'all.